Our next guest is one of Broadway's brightest stars who has lit up the stage in everything from the Book of Mormon, Hamilton, Hairspray, and so many more. Yeah, and he's also been on a few hit television shows like Girls and Black Monday. Well, now he is starring alongside Meryl Streep, Nicole Kidman, and James Corden in The Prom. Please welcome Andrew Reynolds. <laughs> Andrew, so nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. I should have brought pictures of my tree. I, I don't know what I. I, I, just, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. We'll have to get that from you next time. But uh, you are obviously in the movie called The Prom, and I understand you didn't just attend your prom. You attended multiple proms. Well, I went to an all boys Catholic school in Nebraska, and there was surround like there was there were several all girls Catholic schools in the area. So when it came time for prom season. Um, they would usually come to our school to, you know, to, to find dates. So I was a very, not to brag, but uh, I was, I had, I always had a, a very, uh, a very full prom season. Uh, did you have to uh, get a know, new tux for every prom? Oh, no. look at oh. these pics. <laughs> not, look at that look. Well, oh. yeah, yeah. There was a little overcompensating there as like a gay team. <laughs> Picking up what you're putting down. Uh, Picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, that was that was aggressive. That's a very aggressive prom photo. Oh well, let's talk about the prom. As as Amy alluded to, star studded cast, including yourself and Meryl Streep. Um, not the first time you met her, and we hear there's quite a little backstory. The first time you did. Well, when I I, I met her um, several years ago. When I was doing the Book of Mormon, Ann Roth, who's a, a fantastic costume designer, um, her birthday is around Halloween. So her birthday party that year was a Halloween-themed party, and she insisted that we all come in costume. So I was trying to come up with you know something sort of like, well, there and there's another photo. Wow, you just have all <laughs> the photos. So I decided that I would dress up as a slutty astronaut and. I arrived at the party and it was just me, Ann Roth, and Meryl Streep, and no one else was in a costume. <laughs> That's never and I was there for about 20 minutes. It was just the three of us, and Ooh. I was in that costume. And uh, yeah, it was pretty rough. And yeah. eventually people showed up and they had costumes on and then it was a little bit better. But um, yeah, that was uh, not not the best way to maybe meet Meryl Streep. <laughs> but luckily, I don't think she remembered. So that was, that's good. That's a hard one to forget. Let's take a let's take a look at a clip of the prom. Why are you dressed like a waiter? I'm in between gigs at the moment. Mm. Honestly, Dee Dee, I feel adrift as I did in my days before Juilliard. Oh my God. You see, my passions are fueled by the power of Lady Theater and how she can, with the gentle touch of her hand, sculpt a human soul. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, there are so many wonderful performances, dance numbers. You are renowned for your moves, but you said there's one particular uh, move that uh, makes you a little nervous. Well, yes. Yeah, so, so Casey Nicola, who who choreographed the prom, also choreographed and directed the Book of Mormon. And when we started rehearsals, he said, "Can you still do that like jazz split thing that you did in the Book of Mormon?" And I was like, "Well, you know what, Casey, that was." you know, almost 10 years ago. Um, I don't know if that's something, he was like, nah, you can do it, you can do it. Um, so yeah, I had to work up, and I was dancing with children. Like I was Ooh. dancing with like, <laughs> um, you know, people from So You Think You Can Dance, literally. And I, you know, Peepaw was just trying to keep up with the with the kids. So that was <laughs> that was a tough, that was a tough, uh, a tough couple of days shooting that, because these kids, they're flipping over things and, um, I was just trying to keep up with them. I was just trying my best. And you did. You did. And, ah, and Andrew, I know yeah. that this is actually uh, based on a real life story from 2010 and speaks to the two Americans, two Americas, that a lot of people are feeling right now. Um, do you have any advice for anyone who's young out there who wants to come out, feels like maybe they can't, or for parents who are dealing with this as well? What is your advice mm. for those families? Well, I think, you know, coming out is always going to be, um, obviously, it's very personal, and I think the timing of that is something that you can only do when you're ready to do it. And I think what the, you know, what, what this film, the sort of message of this film is, even though you might feel like your people are not out there and maybe there is not a support system for you or, you know, uh, maybe you're nervous about 
are there going to be people who will accept me? Um, and I think that in this film, what we, you know, the characters that James and Marilyn and Nicole and I play, we're out there for Emma, Joella Pellman, who, who plays Emma in the film. Um, she doesn't necessarily know she has the allyship when she starts to mm. come out, um, but people are out there. And I think that's the important thing to, to remember is even if you feel like um, that support system is not in place, there are people who are ready to accept you and love you and, and be there for you. And um, that's, you know, it's w w one of the many reasons I'm so proud to be a part of this particular film is, um, is that message really resonates with me. If this movie had existed when I was in high school, I think I would have felt, you know, very seen and very heard. And um, so I'm happy that, you know, we get to share it now, particularly over the holidays, but hopefully for a lot of young people, some of whom um, might be thinking about this very thing. Right, right. Perfect timing for that, as yeah. always. And you are a delight, and it's a delight to start the <laughs> week with royalty. So, King George, thank you so much <laughs> for <laughs> taking the time. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> Anytime. And thanks, you for, especially for your last remarks. Really hits home. And The Prom premieres on Netflix this Friday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.